Let's say that we have four siblings right over here, and they're trying to decide how to pick who should do the dishes each night. And so the oldest sibling right over here, he decides, well, look, I'll just put all of our names into a, into a bowl, and then I'll just randomly pick one of our names out of the bowl each night, and then that person is going to be, so this is the bowl right over here, and I'm just going to put four sheets of paper in there. Each of them is going to have one of their names, and then I, he's just going to randomly pick it out each night, and then that's the person who's going to do their dishes. So they all say, well, you know, that's, that seems like a reasonable, reasonably fair thing to do, and so they start that process. So let's say that after the first three nights, that he, the, the, oldest, the oldest brother here, and let me, let's, call him, let's call him Bill, let's say after three nights, Bill has not had to do the dishes. So at that point, the rest of the siblings are starting to think maybe, just maybe, something fishy is happening. So what I want to think about is, what is the probability of that happening? What's the probability of three nights in a row, Bill does not get picked? If, it, if we assume that we were randomly taking, if Bill was truly randomly taking these things out of the bowl and, and not cheating in some way, what's the probability that that would happen? That three nights in a row, Bill would not be picked? And I encourage you to pause the video and think about that. Well, let's think about the probability that Bill's not picked on a given night. If it's truly random, so we're going to assume we're going to assume that Bill's not cheating. So assume assume truly random, truly random, and that each of the sheets of paper have a one in four chance of being picked. What's the probability that Bill does not get picked? Well, there's so let me the probability that no I guess let me write this Bill not picked on a night on a night. Well, there's four equally likely outcomes, and three of them result in Bill not getting picked. So there's a three-fourths probability that Bill is not picked on a given night. Well, what's the probability that Bill's not picked three nights in a row? Let me write that down. So the probability Bill not picked three nights, nights in a row well, that's the probability he's not picked on the first night times the probability that he's not picked on the second night times the probability that he's not picked on the third night. So that's going to be 3 to the third power, or 3 times 3 times 3. So that's 27 over 4 to the third power. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And if we want to express that as a decimal, so that is 27, let me get my calculator out, that is 27 divided by 64 is equal to, and I'll just round to the nearest hundredth right here, 0 0.42. So that is equal to 0 0.42. And so this doesn't seem that unlikely. It's, it's a little less likely than kind of even odds, but it's not, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't question someone's credibility if, you know, there's, there's, there's a 42%, roughly a 42% chance that three nights in a row, Bill would not be picked. So this, this seems like if you're assuming truly random that, that well, it's, it's a reasonable, I, your, your hypothesis that it's, re, it's truly random seems, seems you know, that there, there's a good chance that, that you're right. It's, it's a four, there's a 42% chance you would have the outcome you saw if your assumption is true. But let's say, let's say you keep doing this and, and you, you trust your older brother. You know, why, why would he want to cheat out his, his younger siblings? But let's say that Bill's not picked 12 nights in a row. So then everyone's starting to get, everyone's starting to get a little bit, everyone's starting to get a little bit suspicious, suspicious with Bill, with Bill right over here. And so they say, well, you know, let, well, we're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, assuming that, that he's being completely honest, that he, this is a completely random process. What is, the, what is the probability that he would not be picked 12 nights in a row? Well, just, just write that down. So the probability Bill, and it's really the same stuff that I just wrote up here. I'll just say Bill not picked 12 nights in a row. Well, that's going to be three, you're going to take 12 three fourths and multiply them together. It's going to be three fourths to the 12th power. And what is this going to be equal to? Well, let's see. If you take, well, three fourths is, I'll just write three divided by three divided by four, which is going to be 0 0.75 
to the 12th power. Now this is a much smaller. This is now if we actually this is going to be 0.3, I guess we could go to a, we could go to one more decimal place, 0.32 or we could say so let me this is 0.0.032 I should say, which is equal to so this is approximately equal to let me write that, which is equal to 3.2%. So now you have every right to start thinking that something is is getting fishy. You, you you could say well look, you know, if there was and this is what statisticians actually do, they often just define a threshold as hey, you know, if the probability of this happening purely by chance is is more than 5%, then I'll say well maybe it was happening by chance. But if the probability of this happening purely by chance was, you know, and and this is the the threshold that st statisticians often use is 5%, but that's somewhat arbitrarily defined. But this is a fairly low probability that it would happen fairly by chance. So you might be tempted to reject the hypothesis, to reject the hypothesis that it was truly random, that Bill is is cheating in some way. And you could imagine if it wasn't 12 in a row, if it was 20 in a row, then this probability becomes really 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 small and and so your hypothesis that it's truly random starts to really come in come into doubt.